Today I will be creating chemiluminescence or a glow stick. So first I'm going to add some water to my test tube. I'm going to fill about half of my test tube. I have a little too much so I'm just going to pour some out. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to add some sodium carbonate to the water. There's my sodium carbonate. I'm going to add some sodium carbonate to the water right now. And I'm going to dissolve it. So I'm going to close that and put that away. I'm going to stir that in, make sure it dissolves. Next, I'm going to um, dissolve one spoonful. I don't really know the measurements, like the amounts, how much a spoonful is, of ammonium chloride into the water. So there's my ammonium chloride. I did two spoonfuls of sodium carbonate. I guess the ratio would just be two to one. Forget the spoonfuls. So I'm going to put in my ammonium chloride. Now I'm going to add a little bit of luminol, if I can find it, might take some time. So there's my luminol, and I'm going to just add a small amount, a very small amount, and dissolve it in. This isn't actually pure luminol, this is only 5% luminol. I'm going to shake it up to make sure all of the chemicals dissolve. Right now I'm getting some hydrogen peroxide I put in a test tube. I also can't find my hydrogen peroxide. Okay, I got my hydrogen peroxide now. So I'm just going to add some to my other test tube. There it is, hydrogen peroxide in the test tube in my solution with my chemicals. Now I'm going to go to a dark room and mix the two. And you also need a copper wire. So I'm in my room and I'm going to turn off the lights and I've at, I'm going to add my hydrogen peroxide to the solution and I'm going to add my copper wire and now you can see glowing bubbles. Glowing bubbles, they give a blue glow. If you shake the mixture, the glow gets brighter. The bubbles are coming off of the copper wire. I think those bubbles are bubbles of oxygen. But I'm not sure. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.